Hi everybody, Kyle here from Directed, and I'm here to show you our newest piece today, the DS4WS, our wireless siren for the DS4 ecosystem. We have a lot to go over, so let's get started. On the back of the unit, we have our mounting. A very versatile bracket that allows us to change it 90 degree rotations to swivel around the base as needed. This will help allow easy access for your programming button and will allow different variations for how you need to route your wiring. Speaking of wiring, this wireless siren sure looks like it's got a lot of wires. Fear not, the majority of applications are only going to need power and ground. To get a simple security add-on where you have audible confirmation, power and ground will be all that's needed. No need to run that siren wire out under the hood. Let's take a look at what else we've got for wiring. We've got three programmable inputs on the unit. One of the most common ones being used is going to be for our hood pin. Again, one more wire we don't have to run out through the firewall. One of my favorite features of the DS4WS is a dedicated TAC input. Again, another one we oftentimes have to run out through the firewall that we can connect straight from the wireless siren to an injector coil at the engine. From there, we've got a couple outputs that we can use for some customizable programmability to trigger some things like off-road lightings or whatever else your customer may be looking for. All right, to pair our DS4WS up to our DS4 system, we're gonna follow our standard pairing procedure for our DS4. We're gonna put the key into the ignition, turn our ignition on, find our valet button on our antenna, press it once, let go, press and hold, and wait for the LED to start flashing on the antenna. Now we have the DS4 into its pairing mode and we're able to go out under the hood to get the DS4 wireless siren paired up. All right, now that we've got our DS4 system into pairing mode, we're gonna put the DS4 WS into its pairing mode following the exact same sequence. We're gonna press the button on it one time, let go, press and hold, wait for our flashing, and wait for the device to handshake to the DS4. That confirmation lets you know they are now paired up and working. All right, now we're gonna take a look at some of the cool features that the DS4 WS offers. To get into some of the customizable features, we're gonna put our DS4 back into pairing mode and use our direct link app. With the unit in pairing mode, launch your direct link app and go into peripherals. Once in the peripherals section, you'll see your DS4 WS will pop up. Simply tap on it to select it and we'll get all our menus that we can go in and make all of our changes. All right, once we've selected our siren in the peripheral section in the direct link app, we've got our list of menu options and sound options that we can go through. So first thing we're gonna do here is make a few uh, changes for some sounds over to some voice commands. So we're gonna change our arm message to voice. We're gonna change our disarm message. And we're gonna change our warn away. Additionally, in the app, we've also got shock testing, tilt testing, and BLE monitoring control. We'll get into that later. All right, now to take a look at one of our customizable inputs, our gray wire that we're gonna use for our hood input. No need to run the wire out through the firewall. We're gonna hook it straight up to our ball bearing tilt switch to our wireless siren. System on. Cool, looks like it's detecting properly. I'm gonna do a second confirmation and check remote start and make sure this thing won't start. We get our error, we get our six flash diagnostic for hood, looks good. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you the battery backup function of our DS4 WS. We've got our power and ground going to our battery here. The system is currently in an arm state and I'm gonna pull the 12 volt constant fuse and uh, we're gonna have about a two to three second delay and it will go into a full trigger for us. So let's give it a try. The system will not stop until you reconnect power, even if you disarm it. System disarmed. Once we reconnect our power, activate our disarm, the system will stop sounding. All right, now we're gonna check out those changes that we made for some custom voice commands. Let's see what they do. System armed. 
Cool. Let's try disarm. System disarmed. All right. Looks like they've made our changes. In a second here, we're going to check out our shock test. All right, now we're going to take a look at the shock sensor that's built into our DS4WS. And we're also going to test that warn away message that we changed to a voice command earlier. So let's give this thing a hit and see what it does. Vehicle protected. Stand back. Brings you back to the good old days with some modern flair. All right, now we're going to take a look at one of the custom programmable outputs that we wired up from our DS4 wireless siren to our off-road lighting. To do that, we're going to trigger AUX1, function, AUX. And same thing to turn it right back off. One more feature from the DS4 WS. All right, guys, now we're going to take a look at the BLE monitoring function from our DS4 WS. This is where the wireless siren is going to monitor the Bluetooth communication to our DS4 system. If we tamper with the DS4 device and kill power to it, killing that connection, our wireless siren is going to go off and sound as an extra security measure. So let's try killing the power and see what it does. Main harness disconnected. The siren's going to check and monitor for the next 5 to 10 seconds to see if it can reestablish a connection. And if not, it's going to go into full trigger. System disarmed. We reconnect our power, we hit disarm, and our system's back to normal. All right, guys, that was the introduction to our new DS4 WS, the newest piece in our DS4 ecosystem. Feel free to post up some videos on how you're using and customizing these in your own personal vehicles and customers' cars and share them on our Facebook page. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.